How's it going everyone? It's 2024, it's a new year, and that means it's time for a fresh year of making videos. But hello, I am Lummy, and I'm playing some Ape Escape. I didn't do a whole lot of content by myself last year, and it was mainly me doing misclick mischief episodes with my friends. And I'm hoping this year that I can have a bit more variety between doing content by myself as well as the group content. Hey, Spike, did the professor finish the time station yet? Are we gonna get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. So I'm playing the American version. It just seems to be the version that is easily emulatable. I own the PS4 version, but none of my controllers want to work with that version. So I'm kind of stuck with this one. Time for some peak PS1 escape gaming. Okay, first level is quite simple, just a very basic open area. Gotta go catch some monkeys. And there you go, first level done. It's good to be playing this. This game I often come back to every now and then just to have a good playthrough of it. It's a fun time. It's not a super long game. I think it's one that can be enjoyed by most people. And it's good if you just need something a little bit simple and quick. Let's go! First mandatory tutorial session with this thing that lets us go underwater. You click in on the left analog stick to go down and you just let go to go up. I remember that being weird in Ape Escape 2. I think they completely like changed the controls of it in that game and it just it just felt wrong. So you can also capture monkeys with this. You can use it as sort of a net to grab them, which is something you can use in some levels, which is nice. This is one of my favourite soundtracks in the game. I, I quite like the Ape Escape 1 OST, I use it quite a lot in uh, my videos and all that. There is a detail in this game that I really like when it comes to the music. If I crouch, the music's a little bit dynamic and it you get less instruments. I don't think this happened in Ape Escape 2, if I remember just the music got quieter. So you can kind of sneak up on the monkeys a bit, and be like, gotcha. Nice attention to detail that this game just has overall. Let's see if I can get this guy. I think I think this guy up here wakes up and then jumps away. If you get close enough. Or well, maybe not, actually. Got him. Nice. To demonstrate with the net, I can grab this one. There we are. Yes! Quite easy. I love how that little like thing is there. It always looks shocked at me leaving the stage, like, oh my god. <laughs> you did great. I'm all for it. I actually wanted to kind of touch upon the whole American and European release of this game. So, both versions of the game have different voice actors, and there's quite a preference in the community between which is the better of the two. Personally, I like a mixture of both. I prefer Spike in the American version, I prefer Jake in this version, who I believe was called Buzz in the European version. I prefer Spectre in the European version over this one, because Spectre in this game just kind of sounds like a whiny teenager who can't get what he wants. <laughs> um, the Professor I like in both versions. There's Natalie, who I believe is called Katie as well. Um, I prefer both versions of her. And then you have Cassie, who I think I like her European voice more. Oh, I wonder if I can watch this monkey. No. I can usually clutch that monkey, but it's been like a while, so I'm a, I'm a little I'm a, I'm a little rusty at the game. Let's see if I can do it again. Nice. Yes. Pretty smooth swing. Pretty smooth swing. <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm somebody who like prefers a mixture of the voice acting between both games, and I remember um, watching um, Hypocrite's review on this game, where they kind of showed a cutscene like mashup if you kind of merged both voice actor like versions together, and it actually quite Look fits well. Got a new gadget. Check it out. Here's a monkey radar. This gadget shows you where a monkey is and kind of gives you the replication of where to go for one. You can even look up like the names of the monkeys and get their stats. It feels a little fidgety with this controller though. I'm playing this with an Xbox controller. Here's the guy. Remember me? It's me, Spectre, the future leader of the New Age. That's right. Apes will soon rule the world, just as it should have been from the beginning. Spectre, what ha who, what's going on here? He, what are you planning he doesn't to sound do? Friendly. Spectre, oh yes. You're the monkey that performs at the amusement park. Hi, everyone in the lab. How's it going? My name is Spectre. I'm the conqueror of the New Earth. And the leader of the monkeys of the new age. You? Aren't you the monkey from earlier? What's going on here? Spector, aren't you the little monkey that performed at the amusement park? It's like there's some moments where the dialogue is like fine, but then there's like bits like in that cutscene where the writing's a bit iffy. Combined with the voices, it's a little bit oof. <laughs> So if I press L2, I can see that there's a monkey over here, and I can see his speed attack and alert stats. You can kind of get an idea from their, like, helmet colour as well, what kind of monkey you'll be dealing with. Just get rid of all of those, whack that, whack you, gotcha. Nice. Alright, I gotta be careful here though, that guy has a gun. And he is pretty high alert. Oh crap. I better get quiet, because he's already yep, he's already alerted to me, but That could have gone a little bit better, but Oh well. Okay, so this level I think there's only like a couple levels in the game that have this raft. I'm not going to use it. I, d I don't need the raft. I never use it in this game. I never use the raft in this game. It's like, it's not really needed all that much. And it feels a little... It does admittedly feel a little clunky to use. So I just prefer not to use it at all. So just to demonstrate, you, you, you use the left and right analog sticks to move yourself by like twirling them and like left left and right is one of the oars and like I mean, it's it's okay if you know how to use it but it's, i just find it's much easier just to swim like this it's it's faster okay this monkey here kind of becomes sort of a miniature boss if like he spies you so i'm gonna i wonder if i can get him early Damn it! I was close. It's not too bad, but I mean, it, it's a lot better if you can somehow manage to get him early. I was close to being able to do so, but I guess I was just a little off. By the way, as a bit of a factoid, if you're wondering why the game is even called Ape Escape, if you're not even capturing apes, you're capturing monkeys. So in Japan, the game translation is Serugetsu, which roughly translates to, I believe it's Monkey Getsu. And I guess the reasoning why they changed to Ape Escape was just to have something that kind of glowed a bit nicer over here and was a bit more marketable because, I don't know, you'd kind of go to the store and see a game called Monkey Get You on the store. That would sound like a bootleg kind of thing, so Ape Escape 
just kind of has a bit of a charm and has that rhyme. And that's why the game is called Eight a Space Bar. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I could hear imaginary in the corners laughing and enjoying this theme. Let's <laughs> go! He's not played this game. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he, he likes this song a lot, and it, yeah, that's understandable. It's, it's a goofy one. Carefully does it. Nice. This theme is pretty fitting for this level. It's very mysterious sounding. Careful, he's got a gun. No victory royale for you, sir. And I think it's possible to grab him directly from here if you're lucky enough, because you can swing through... You can swing through here. I think I've done something like that once or twice in some levels. Okay, I'm gonna go and grab him. Actually, I wonder will that statue come alive? Because some do in this. Yes, it does, Jesus. Oh, God. That kind of jump scared me a little. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Because I forgot that, like, some don't, some do. And I forgot maybe if that one did or didn't. I don't think I can get him, like, right now, though. Nah, definitely not. And I missed the Spectre Coin, but I will. The Spectre Coins aren't really necessary to me, I guess. I'm not, like, fully 100%ing this game or anything. But the Spectre Coins, they unlock some mini games that you can play. I forgot that there was a monkey up here. Nice, I need two more. And I believe I can get both of them from just down here if I push this, break this. And I'm almost dead. <laughs> there's one over there, there's one up here, and then there's one through the door over there. I think I'll get the dude up here. I'll ignore the one that's the other one that's in this room, because he's a little bit of a pain. I got him. So, there's a guy over there who's very alert, like, the alert on him is pretty strong, like, by... Yeah, he's on pretty high alert, and he fires missiles if he sees you. Alright, you stay still. Nice. The time station definitely has to be one of my favourite just like themes in a video game and just this area in general I like it a lot, it's nice and calm and relaxing. I actually prefer the demo design of the time station because the final version got simplified a little and it's a lot smaller. In the demo there was another room here that had like, that was specifically for just this and I, I kind of understand why they changed it. It's like, oh, it's a whole other room you have to go to just to play a level, just to jump on here and go to a level, but the design was really cool. You could see it in, um... It was in the Pizza Hut demo, I believe you could see it. We have a pretty useful gadget here. This is the... The slingshot, which you can use to shoot at enemies. And monkeys to, like, stun them and stuff. It's can be a little bit fiddly to use to aim but it, it's pretty cool, actually. So you can use it to shoot switches that you can't quite reach. You also have different types of ammo that you can use. There's infinite ammo on the first type of power-up, then you have an explosive one and a homing rocket one, which I will demonstrate on this one. You can lock onto an amount of things and then just let go. I think that power-up's a lot more useful for, like, the UFO monkeys. Alright, so this is the third level of the second area. The third and last is, like, there's typically only three areas per bit. I was gonna say that the control scheme for this game can feel a little bit 
fiddly when you're just getting used to it, but I don't think it's that bad, honestly. Like, this game primarily kind of focused on using the right analog stick to do stuff. I think it was, like, one of the first, like, PS1 games that was, like, DualShock controller requirement. Alright, you want to turn around, buddy. Right. So I'm gonna shoot this. And I can shoot that monkey too. Let me test this. Yeah, it's limited ammo. Nice. You ain't getting away from me that easily. That's a that's another thing that you can do. So you don't have to just swing on the the right stick to swing. If you're in the air, you can click the left stick to do like a sort of like a swing ground pound of sorts. And it's pretty neat to like get a pretty good like combo on some monkeys. I remember I have I have an old clip on my YouTube channel. Um, I think it was like a double monkey capture. Alright. <gasps> Basic platforming. <laughs> and a one off. Monkey, come here. Nice. Alright, we're on to the next area. Oh, I forgot about this actually. I've been waiting for this for a long time. This is just between you and me. Follow me. Stadium attack. I think there's only two levels of Let's this in go. the game where you race against Shake. And if you beat him, you get five Spectre coins. So he'll probably overtake me in a second. Yeah, like this, he jumps across these way faster. But I've got a helpful tip for this. This bit right here, if you slide down here and then you jump, you keep your speed and momentum going, but if you just let yourself slide fully down, you stop moving for a brief moment like what happened to Jake. So you get a bit of a jump start in front of him if you do that jump. It's helpful to do that, just do it every time, to be honest. And just like that, I whooped his ass. <laughs> yes! He didn't even get to the last strike. I'll go up against you anytime you want. So you can get 10 Spectre coins just from doing both the stadium attacks. Alright, Krabby Beach. This is one of my favourite levels, actually. This introduces us to the Hoop Gadget, which lets us sprint a bit. This one's pretty handy to get to places faster, or if you need to sort of race the clock a little. Say, so, like, you, uh, you flip a switch, and then you have to get somewhere quickly before something closes, like right here, actually. Just to demonstrate that. Actually, I wonder how Duck Station will handle this level because there's been a few times where I've emulated this game on EPSXE. I think it is in the frame rate chugs on this area specifically. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's slowing down a bit. It's dropping to 20 FPS. I don't know what it is with this area. Maybe there's, like, a lot of geometry on, like, the sand castles or something? I, I don't, I don't quite know, really. I'm not too sure what it is. And there's this dude here. With his sand castles. Haha, <laughs> take that. No more sand castle for you. You can't get away from me that easily. Gotcha. 
There's four monkeys in that area. You know what? I'm curious if I can do this still. Yep, I still can. <laughs> yes. yes, I cheated, but I have to come back to this level anyway later on, so that doesn't quite matter. It just kind of saves me time anyway. <laughs> but if you're wondering what the heck I just did, there is a glitch with the slingshot where when you pull it back on the analog stick, uh, I guess Spike like his momentum and animation like briefly resets if you jump and pull back on the analog stick and then like in quick succession repeat that you kind of start floating in the air <laughs> it takes a bit of time and practice to get used to it like the timing can be a bit iffy but yeah <laughs> it's a bit of a funky glitch but it's kind of funny to mess around with but that's all the time that i have for this video sadly so if you enjoyed watching me play some ape escape and maybe you'd like to see me continue this game, maybe even complete it. Leave a like on the video, maybe leave a comment letting me know. Maybe you can give me some suggestions of what else I could play by myself for some future content. And if you also really enjoyed my content, feel free to subscribe if you haven't. I would love to one day reach 1,000 subscribers. Someday I'll get there, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.